Aw, oh, man. Why is it always got to be raining right when I'm trying to do an intro? What is up, everybody? Welcome to Sky Factory 3. No, I'm not playing Sky Factory 4, mostly just because I don't like the whole resource tree idea. I don't know if it's actually anything like real or like, I, I don't exactly know what it is. But I want to try Skyblock 3 first before I do Skyblock 4. Get as far as I can before it just becomes too, I don't know, outrageous. Uh, but it's a new series I've started and I want to stick with it for a while. It's kind of kind of be more of like walkthrough stuff and little snippets here and there as opposed to like a full length, like just let's play through, I guess. So... For those of you who don't know what Skyblock is, basically you start out with one tree, as you can see, and one piece of dirt. And your entire goal is to go through this achievement book. And it tells you all this information you need to know about biomes, all that fun stuff. Uh, credit to the creator, Bacon Donut. And this is how we start, the wood age. A new age dawns before you. You don't have anything to work with but th this tree. So let's make the most of it. Use a crook on leaves to get saplings and a silkworm. Twerk a sapling into a tree, all this kind of stuff. So this is all in the wood age. So you gotta get all this finished from just this one tree and this one block of dirt. So let's get started. So what I do, and I don't know if many people do this, but I go all the way down and then I build a crafting table and then I turn it into a crafting station just because it looks a little bit better. And as soon as I get all the way down to the dirt, then I place my crafting station next to it so here I am I go over to the side I place that there and now I can build all my planks that I need to build so I'm just gonna build six really quick just so that I can get enough space to kind of stand here uh, I'll probably build one more stack okay Ooh, that was almost bad. Okay, just a little bit of room to play with. And now I'm going to build some sticks. And I'm going to set them in this formation to make a wooden crook. Now what this does is it mines the trees and everything like that in a way that you normally wouldn't be able to with just like shears or anything like that. It provides more chance to create saplings, silkworms, and apples. So, silkworms are cool because, well, I'll, I'll get into detail on those a little bit later. But we can now go to our book and say we used a crook on leaves to get saplings and a silkworm. Next, we need to twerk a sapling into a tree. So, the way you do this is you spam your crouch key and it creates those little green sparkles and boom it grows the trees super fast now if you're wondering how I am using how I'm getting all those leaves all at once like that it's um, or vein excavation I believe is what it's called and you can do it on trees you can do it on pretty much anything the only thing that's kind of scary about it is if I it want to get rid of one of these and I'm crouching and I get rid of it because I have it set to my crouch key it'll take all of these out so if I'm standing on this wooden slab and I get rid of one of them I just fall to my death and my entire base goes away so basically what you're doing is you're just gonna chop up a bunch of trees turn it into a bunch of saplings because saplings are like the lifeblood of this game so I'm gonna make a couple more crooks here just because they're important 
And I'm also going to make an axe just to make this go by a little bit faster. All right. So we got a twerk on this tree. Boom. I'm going to use a full one because this kind of looks like a big tree. Cool. So as you can see, we already have 10 silkworms, 33 saplings, and an apple. Now the apple is the only source of food you're going to have for a while, so you better make sure that you collect them all. All right, I'm going to farm up a couple trees, and I will be right back. Okay, so I am back. It is unfortunately raining, and it's the middle of the night. But I've got three stacks of saplings, a bunch of wood, and a couple logs. So basically, the next step is to make dirt by composting saplings or leaves in an oak barrel. So, we're going to make an oak barrel. So what you do is you take your planks and do it like your, like the two sides. Take a slab and put it at the bottom and you get a wooden barrel. So the only kind of crappy thing is that it's raining right now. So if I put this down, it's going to start filling with water. So I don't want it to fill with water right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a little cover for these guys. And I'm going to boop, set it right there. And look, no water. So what you do is you take your saplings and you stack them in here with a right click. It takes eight of them to fill up a barrel. And slowly you can see that percent going up of 30% complete. So you just wait for that to complete and we'll just sit here and wait for it. Oh, never mind, I already put a sapling. And voila, we have dirt. So basically, this is a good thing to get going early because now I can have two trees at the same time, which is awesome. So I'm gonna make my base just a little bit bigger so that I don't just fall off when I'm trying to get the leaves or the saplings from that one. Okay. Oops, did not mean to do that, but awesome. I'm going to make it one more. Just to give me a little buffer room because I know I'll fall off. And now we can grow them both. And with the ore, the vein excavation, whatever it's called, they're both touching now. So I can use one click and boom. Look at all those saplings I just got. You can also connect the tree trunks together if you really want to, but I feel like it's kind of a waste of time. So I don't need that, but I will extend this a little bit. And I'm going to build some more barrels. One, two, three, four, five, I think is how many I need. One, two, three, four, five. The other nice thing about a, a crafting station is it leaves your um, materials in the crafting station even if you have to go out of it for a second. So I'm going to make five barrels. Put them all underneath this cover in a line. And I'm going to fill them all up. And we're going to make a bunch of dirt. So what we can do now is since we are done with the next step, we can go to our achievement book and boom. We can make dirt by compo composting saplings or leaves in an oak barrel. 
All right, so the next step is to infest a tree with a silkworm. So I'm going to go ahead and grow this tree real quick. Maybe. There it is. All right, so I'm going to take my silkworms. And I'm going to just pop, pop a couple of them in the tree real quick. And what it's going to do is it's going to slowly infest this tree. And you can see the leaves getting a little bit lighter in color. And I will be right back as soon as they are finished. All right. Well, the silkworms have done their job. And this is what it looks like. It turns white. And it looks just like a tree, except it's white. Now, when I hit this with a crook, I get string. Now, why is string important, you may ask? Well, let's go to our achievement book. And we infested leaves with a silkworm. And we use a crook on infested leaves to get string. Now we can craft a sieve and a string mesh. Okay, so... This is another super important part. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some sticks, some planks, and a slab to create a sieve. Now, I'm going to set this sieve right here. And as you can see, it just looks like a regular empty crafting station, basically. So what we need to do is we need to craft a mesh to go in there. So, we fill up the entire space to create a string mesh. Now you go over here and right click, boom. Now it's a sieve. And we can take our dirt, put it in the sieve, or sieve, however you want to pronounce it. And we can get stone pebbles, and we can get seeds from it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just do all 10 of these dirt blocks or however many I had and we're going to see how many we got or what kind of stuff we get I mean we got three left two left bounce back and forth just because last one all right so we ended up with 40 stone pebbles some seeds some potato seeds a spruce seed and it looks like everything we got from there. So, I'm going to go to my achievement book. We did a sieve and a string mesh. We didn't do that, but we can craft cobblestones from the small stones that drop from sifting dirt. So, these stone pebbles, you put them in your crafting inventory, in your actual inventory. And four of them makes one cobblestone. So we actually got... 10 cobblestone from that 10 dirt which is pretty good actually so I'm gonna make a chest just because I feel like I'm running out of room here in my inventory and we'll do it like that and we'll put in seeds oh we got an oak seed as well we'll put in our string we'll put it in our silkworms We'll put in a couple stacks of oak planks. Our guide stuff, because I don't need that right now. Tin nugget. And the rest of the stuff you start out with, except uh, I'm going to put my achievement book in there as well. So, now we have cobblestone. What do you do with cobblestone? Well... Of course, I just put my achievement book away. Let's take a look. We crafted cobblestone. We craft a hammer to turn cobble into gravel, gravel into sand, and sand into dust. Okay, so we got to craft a hammer. So we got to go over to the crafting station. And we do two sticks diagonally. Oops. And two diagonally next to this stick. And it creates a wooden hammer. So... What you do is you take your cobblestone and you place it out and then you smack it with the hammer. 
and it makes gravel. I'm actually going to hold on to one. And then once you do it to gravel, you get sand. And same with this, I'm going to hold on to one of these. And when you do it to sand, you get dust. So, it goes gra cobble to gravel to sand to dust. So, we can go to our achievement book and say we crafted a hammer to turn cobble into gravel, gravel into sand, and sand into dust. Now we're going to sift gravel, sand, and dust in a sieve. Alright, so each one of these has a different chance to drop different items. So we'll go over here to gravel. Now when you sift it, if I can find it, maybe. Where is it? Weird. That's really odd. Okay. Well, we'll go to... We'll go over here to iron ore piece. And you can see from gravel, you get gold ore, iron ore, copper, aluminum, lead, silver, nickel, and flint from gravel. You can get gold, iron, copper, aluminum, lead, silver, nickel, and cactus seeds from sand. And from dust, you can get gold, iron, copper, aluminum, lead, silver, nickel, and bone meal. So, the reason why I made it all dust is because bone meal is the most important out of all of those, and you'll see why here in just a little bit. So I didn't get anything from that. Ooh, I got silver and I got lead. That's awesome. Alright, so we're going to do all this dust. Ooh, I got a bone meal. That's awesome. Because that's the most important one. And it's normally a lot harder to find than that. So hopefully I get... Yes, I got another one. Awesome. I need seven of them. Uh, I didn't... Did I get another one? Nope. Okay, so I got copper, iron, and bone meal. Cool. So I'm going to put those down here at the bottom. This one we're going to keep in our inventory. We'll put that over there. Alright, so I'm going to go back and create a bunch of dirt and turn it all into dust to try to get more bone meal. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode, everybody. We got a lot done today. We got a couple trees going. We got our oak barrels. We got our sieve. We got our crucible full of water. We got a couple bone meal. Not quite as many as we need to move on to the next step, but that's okay. We'll do it in the next video. Speaking of the next video, if you go ahead and subscribe and click that little notification bell, you'll stay updated as to when I post a new video in this series. In the comments down below, make sure to tell me which tree you think is the best. And if I should switch over to another type of tree other than the oak tree. I don't know. You let me know. Tell me reasons why. Also make sure to like this video. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Later.